Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Metis Interviews. Sunny. Um, we're here again at the Silicon Valley Country, uh, not the Country Club, the Silicon Valley Capital Club. We've got a, a little perk right there. Um, t today we're going to talk about uh, a typical scenario a lot of our clients uh, have. Being in Silicon Valley, we have work with a lot of engineers, a lot of engineers from Apple, Google, and especially Facebook uh, contact us. Um, so. Uh, a general scenario for us is, you know, hey, I just got a job at Facebook. Uh, my wife is on my butt about buying a property, so I, I did that. You know, we went in, talked talk to uh, the team at Metis. They showed us this beautiful, you know, $2 million home. Uh, we talked to Metis's lender and then, uh, you know, purchased the property. So here I am, beautiful $2 million property in, in Los Altos. Uh, just my wife, a kid. Uh, two brand new European cars. Um, life is good. Where do I go from here? Yeah, great question, Wallace. I mean, congratulations on buying the house. Nice. Hey, you know all the success that you know you've you've had. You know, um, you know, life pretty much does not end there when you purchase a house. Okay, life just basically started for you. Okay, um, after purchasing a house, you know, that's a uh, um, there's just so many things that you gotta think about, okay? Like um, who's gonna mow my lawn or who's gonna take uh, care of the pool? That's important too, but <laughs> oh no! But there are other things that you know you have to uh, really think about, okay? Before that, even, okay? Uh, well, the first thing is, you know, how do you protect that? Right? So I should have met you earlier. Is what I what you're telling me? Well, no, me. this is a good time. This okay. is a good time. This is a good time. You good. know, uh, either you mean you met me before you bought the house or you know after. You know, this is a good time. You know, still. Um, so a lot of times people don't think about it they, after they purchase a home, you know, they feel like life is great and uh, they move on with their busy life and routines, you know, so, but you know, really, this is where you really have to sit down and start looking at, you know, your finance, you know, for the future, okay. Uh, first thing first, you know, uh, from a financial planning perspective, you know, um, the number one thing that people usually ignore is defense planning. When I say defense planning, I mean it's protection. Um, so you bought a house, you know, like you say, one million dollars, you know, two hundred thousand dollars down, uh, eight hundred thousand dollars mortgage, right? That's a lot of money, you know. That's still as a debt, right? So people don't really think about, you know, uh, what happens when you're gone. Okay, you just bought the home, but things happen, right? That's life, right? Things can happen, you know. If we knew what was gonna happen, we'd we'll never do anything, right? So. Um, but you know, what do you? What if you die? Okay. Well, I mean, if it wasn't for my wife, I don't think I'd ever buy the house. I'd be happy in my little condo, and uh, right. you sure. know. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. But your wife, you know, um, you know, probably thought that you know you guys need a bigger place to raise a child, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We're totally happy with the quality of yeah. life. And, right, right, yeah. right. You don't want to be in a decent school district, you know, and so your kids can uh, go to uh, um, uh, go to nice school, you know, public school, right? Instead of paying the uh, premium uh, private school, right? So, but um, but what, what what you need to think about is you know protecting that you know your family. Okay, so if you're gone today, you have to think about today. You know, not tomorrow, not the next week. You know, not the next month. You know, year. You have to think about okay, if I'm dead today, you know, because you know it can happen. It can happen to anyone at any time. Okay, so how would you how would your spouse pay off the mortgage? Eight hundred thousand dollar mortgage. Okay, uh, a lot of people say, you know what? That's a good question. You know, never thought about it. Or maybe you say, you know what? I have thought about it, and maybe life insurance. You know, um, but I just haven't got the time to get to it. Well, that's just like everybody else. Okay, or you may say, oh, I'm not worried about it. I have a um, insurance for work. Okay. Well, did you know that your insurance for work? Okay. That if you leave your company. That you might not keep it with you. So, if five, ten years down the road that you, le you left the company and you go to another startup or start your own business, okay, what happens if that company doesn't provide you the benefit? Right? So, you're five, ten years older, you might not be as healthy as five, ten years ago, okay? So, um, so that those are the problems, you know, with the work insurance. You know, not, not to mention that sometimes it's not enough, right? So, um, some companies don't give you enough coverage, right? So um, to get a coverage, you know, outside of work, you know, it's it's very simple. You know, 
all you have to do is just talk to a, a professional um, and get the quotes from a, from a financial advisor or an insurance agent. You know, um, and it's very affordable. So uh, we can talk about the different types of life insurance next time. But you know, I think the number one reason you purchase life insurance to protect your family. You know, in case you die. So now let's just say you got the life insurance. You know, you're happy. You know, what now? Right. So, well, um, another insurance that um, that's actually even probably considered more important than the life insurance policy is a long-term disability income insurance. Okay, and that's something that most people don't ever think about. Okay, um, what that does is that you know um, that's a, that's a policy that covers. It's because you know, people feel you know we're going to be young forever, right? Yeah, our yeah we're never going to get deaths, sick. Exactly. Right? Yeah, we're never gonna get sick. We're never gonna die. You know, we're gonna we're invisible. Okay, uh, but look around. We're think invincible, about right? Right. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> invisible. invisible. Invincible. Got it. Okay. <laughs> you think you're invisible? <laughs> so, um, but you know, if you look around, you know, uh, look, look at the family, you know, uh, the family members, you know, your friends, your neighbors, and look at how many people that actually been on disability. I'm talking about the long term disability. I'm not talking about a pre being a, being pregnant. You're out for a couple months, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm talking about long-term disability, no longer than 90 days or longer, okay? And it lasts longer than 90 days. So, um, you know, everything you have is based on the assumption that, you know, uh, you continue to work. For example, your house, your house payment, right? How do you keep the house? You keep paying the mortgage. But the day that you stop paying the mortgage, the bank is gonna take over, right? And foreclose the house. So, um, and that's a problem, right? Your biggest asset should not be the house, it's your income, the ability to make that income. So, um, so without the, the income, you know, we can't really consider anything else, you know, the, the, uh, the car, the mortgage, you know, um, your kids' education, retirement, nothing really matters after that. So, if you become dis disabled, ill, or injured, you have no more income, and that will be the most difficult situation you put yourself in. So I would say definitely look into the policies at work. You know, most companies, big companies, do provide a benefit through work. You know, they cover up to you know either 60 to 70 percent sometimes. Okay, sometimes you have an option to buy more, but you can never cover 100 percent of your salary, and that's not that's not possible. You know, insurance company won't be selling that to you. So uh, sometimes it might make sense. To get a coverage outside of that, you know, it's called a supplemental long-term disability insurance policy. Okay, uh, sometimes because you know your policy at work does not cover bonuses or your stock options like RSUs, okay, commissions. You know? So uh, sometimes they only cover the base salary. Okay, and sometimes you know if the, your employer is paying for the coverage, uh, when you receive the benefit, you have to pay taxes on income tax. Okay. So if you make $100,000 and uh, you're disabled, you get $60,000, you still have to pay taxes on the $60,000. So that's very important to know. You know after paying taxes, you, know, you won't have enough to, to cover the mortgage or the living expenses, right? So, um, so these are things you know, that you, know, you really have to have on the financial advisor to review your work benefit, you know, to look at you know, exactly what you have to work, and then to, to see if it's necessary to supplement. For, for an uh, outside you know, uh, source. Super, thanks for uh, bringing up those points, Sonny. Um, and how do we, what's your phone number? How, how do people get a hold of you if they uh, want to yes, give you a call? Yes, you can contact me at 408-300-0192. Uh, okay, 408-300-0192, or visit my website, uh, essencewealth.com. That's E-S-S-E-N-C-E -S wealth.com. And as usual, we're going to have Sunny's information down below. Uh, if you want to know more about Sunny, uh, go ahead and go to EssenceWealth.com or just give him a call. Uh, he's pretty easy to reach. Um, and if you want to know more about Metis and the services that we provide, go ahead and go to www.metisre.com. I'll also have that down below. Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Again, Sunny is our trusted advisor when it comes to anything finance, financial advisors, insurance policies. Uh, it's who we use and who we recommend to our clients. Um, so give us a thumbs up if you learned something in this episode or a thumbs down and tell us what you want to learn about in the next episode. Um, so again, Sunny Wayne, Essence Wealth, thanks so much. Thank you.